so hey guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this video we are going to discuss quant in sap warehouse management so we are going to discuss what is quant why we need quant in our sap system and what is the significance and benefits of quant so the first question is what is a quant so quant is nothing but just a number assigned by the system to a material when the material is placed or put away in a storage bin the system assign a random number to the material and this is known as quant so if we talk about the definition of a quant a quant is a quantity of material with the same material number and same batch number in a single storage bin. So basically a quant is a number that is used by the system. There is no significance for the business purpose. It is only used by the system to manage things, manage process. So why we need quant functionality? Why? there is quant so basically quant contains some information like the last transfer the last inventory the stock type blocking indicators and these things are used in process during the warehouse operations so and the second thing is how quant help warehouse process like so if system is using quant how it is going to benefit the system how it is going to, going to benefit the process so what quant do is it optimize the material flow and manage stock in a warehouse more efficiently in the next slide you will going to learn why and how this quant works in the next slide you are going to learn how a quant, quant helps in our SAP system. So first question come into our mind is how a quant is created, like when a quant is created, when system create a quant. So whenever we put away a material into a storage bin, system create a quant and assign to the quantity of the material and when we pick the material from the storage bin the quant get deleted so it is that simple next question is when a quant changes itself so quant can be changed by changing one of the six characteristics first is quant identification number second is plant then material number batch number stock category and spatial stock indicator so if we change the plant like from one plant to other plant uh, there is a sto transfer the quant get changed if we changing the material number itself like updating the material number or changing the old material number to a new material number the quant get changed if we are changing the batch number the quant can change get changed and if we are changing the stock category like you know quality unrestricted or block stock is also get changed and uh, if we are changing some special indicators assigned to the material like it's a vendor material customer consignment or a project stock if we change anything um, about this the quant get changed so what happens when we put material into a storage bin the system assign a quant number and when we again put some same material into the same storage bin the quant number or the characteristics of the new material get deleted and it adopts the same quant number that is into the storage bin already present so hope you have understand how quant changes itself so next question is where we can see quant of a material so i will show you in the sap system where we can find the quant number and where we can change the quant number 
So we will go to the CP menu, then logistic, then logistic execution, internal warehouse process, bin and stocks, display, single display, and then LS23 quant. So this is the screen. Here you can see the symbol to change and display. If you click, it is going to display mode. So like uh, I know a quant number, so putting it here, 42, and hit enter. So here you can see the cat, the information this quant has, like weight, capacity, GR number, date, and uh, the time, the storage bin, the storage type. So you can change here the GR number or the good receipt date. You, we have a physical inventory information, but this material does not have any physical inventory. So from here, you can change and display the quant in LS 22 and 23. And uh, if you don't know the quant number, what you can do is uh, go to LX 03 or LS 26. So I would prefer to do LX 03. Here, I know material, so I'm going to here is one option is also available. So here I know I'm at here 215. And how to display. You can see there is a lot of storage bin and material. So double click on the storage bin. And you can see this leads to uh, LS03 and where we can display the bin. So this leads to here. Uh, you can see the quant number like here you can see the quant this bin has two quant 52 and 53 okay so from here you can see the quant number and you can also configure the variant like here you can also just use the quant from this option So I already have cho chosen, so you can see the quant from this. So, so this is the SAP Easy Access Path for the quant and uh, steps how to find the quant of a material, how to change it and how to save it. And one thing I would like to discuss here is the self-expiration date because if your system is using self-expiration date, your material management is using the self-expiration date, some materials as you know get older and get expired. But in case of a quant, when we put some new material into an existing material and mix the material, the new material lost its information so it is a matter of fact to consider the self-life expiration date when we are talking about the quant if you add a stock to an existing quant in a bin the self-life expiration date of a new quantity that is added is lost so you have to keep this in mind while put away the material into a storage bin so hope you have understand the quant. Thank you for watching this video.